Okay, that didn't spin at all. Yeah, it is crying. Holy shit. That's just sad. Now we gotta go through this long ass climb back upward just to get our blue. I wanna fall to our fucking deaths because that was bullshit. I had a perfect jump. I hate this game sometimes. There we go, finally. Not close enough. It's kind of where I wanted to go. Ah, crap. That's too high! Crap. I gotta wait for this dumbass to get down here. Still too high. Nope, nope, nope. I managed to magnetize my way up there. Nice. Just climb. I just gotta go up here without getting hit. Yay! I go through all this process again. No, you fucking don't! No! Why did you do that game? I hate going down this one! Finally! Just want to leave! Or he started. <laughs> so all I wanted to do was go upward. Not the direction I wanted to go, but okay. That came out of nowhere. Yeah, I swear those guys got a homing attack, dang it. Can you guys stop knocking me off? this thing I couldn't pick it up for some reason yeah I can't pick up those at all Or those. Oh, blazes! Just had to get one that was... I hate this one. I hate this guardian. He's so annoying. He doesn't take much health, but damn it, he is annoying sometimes.
I swear, you gotta waste freaking invincibility screams just to pick these things up sometimes! Or just end up lucky with one that happens to be facing the right direction! Oh, come on! That's mean! Pick it up, you dumbass! I'm clicking B and nothing's happening! I hate this guy. I hate him a lot. Finally! All that just to get it open! Last hit! Thank you! Finally! Now where's our blue? I mean our purple. There it is. There's our pink. It was a Game Boy! Our last one's right here. And this ends the head. You could say he's ahead of us. Got it. Yeah, this one can be a little annoying to... Get on one. Make sure you don't get hit again. And land in the center. There we go. Got it. Don't even waste your time getting the money because those things are annoying. Gotta go upward carefully. Okay, we're through. No. I'm trying to pick one up. Yeah, another reason why I was ignoring him, that he actually grows in price of each hit. See, now he's at 60. We got all the treasures, we just need to defeat the boss. We're going to be at this boss for a while. Not because it's hard, no. I can easily defeat him with the amount of hearts I have. Then to you, the money grinding boss. Want to know why they call him the money grinding boss? I'll show you why. First... Okay, now you wait for him to pull one in. He's going to do it at random speed. You don't want to be the last one in. Notice, that didn't take out much, any of his health at all. What you're supposed to do after that is pick him up and throw him. However, if you do not, you can repeat the same process. Watch, you just walk away from him. Let him wake up. And you just repeat the process of his first phase. Because he doesn't change phase as long as you don't do actual damage to him. Doesn't matter where you hit him as long as you hit him. See, the process repeats and he still doesn't lose any health. I've almost got back the amount of money I lost on this playthrough, dang. 
on this mission just from fighting this guy twice. <laughs> he gives you a lot of money, dang it. Remember, he does this every time, whether you actually hit him afterward or not. So you're guaranteed at least five bundles of big money. Much more if you want to just do what I'm doing. Again, it doesn't matter where you hit him, just somewhere. Then you've got to quickly get out of this thing, because once he wakes up and you're inside it, the battle becomes much harder. You enter a phase that you don't usually see in this boss. Which can be completely ignored as long as you stay out of the web. It's also a pretty simple boss overall. You got the projectiles, you got your smash down, and then you got your item to pull you in. Ah, crap, it's the last one. Not quite the last one, but okay. Yeah, the... Each one comes in at a different speed. The last one will always be the fastest and will sometimes throw you clear across the room when you jump off it. You want to get one that's going about moderate speed to slow. Just so you have enough room to land on and through momentum. Now go ahead and hit him this time properly and show you how to actually damage him. But look, he hasn't done any hits to me at all. You just pick him up, and you hold throw in any direction. That's it, folks. That's all you gotta do to hurt him. He is the easiest boss in the game. Yeah, he doesn't change his phase until I think three hits in. At most, I think he adds a bit more uh, balls to projectiles to spit at you. Now, if he does manage to suck you into his mouth, then uh, you'll end up losing a lot of health really quickly. He basically pulls a freaking vampire on you. And it's pretty much the only way he's going to be able to do good damage against you, because those projectiles are way too slow. He does go for the usual increase the amount of rings he's going to smash down on you. And increase the amount of projectiles. That's pretty much all his phases. Do one more, getting some money. Ah, crazy little drinking game. Try to figure out where the hell you started the stage at. I guarantee you, you won't remember. Because there's a giant circle and all, and you really want to keep racing around. You don't want to stand still at this guy, okay? all it takes. You could do a spin too, but that takes longer. I might do that for the last one. It's going to take extremely longer than normal spins because you're on the web. So you increase the amount of projectiles you've got. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, don't you just get more money if you finish the boss faster? Yeah, you get a certain percentage of money if you get through with a boss fast, but it's nowhere near the amount of money you could get from this boss. Because you can perpetually get money from it. There's no end to the amount of money he gives you. He will endlessly spawn it as long as you don't do that final throw. For example, I've d done a playthrough where I sat here for like, I want to say, five hours of just repeating this process. I did that for uh, the playthrough my uh, nieces and nephews were doing, right? Because they were dying a lot when they were younger. They played this back when they were like, I want to say, ten, five, six, seven, eight. And they would die a lot in the game, so I would occasionally 
every few hours a week, just spend non-stop on this boss. Ah, crap, 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 crap. Okay, okay, you just barely saw a glimpse of that other phase. Now that he's in here, he's changing things up. Yeah, he'll he'll go back to his normal phase after he smashes down. Oh, that was close. See what I mean? You don't want to land on... You don't want the ball you're on to be the last one going in. Because it really throws off your momentum. Yeah, you can even do a smash down like that too. As long as it's some sort of secondary hit. Or you can just fly ignored and keep spamming for money. We're almost done, folks. Almost threw my momentum off. I'm not sure if this was intended game design. Maybe they wanted at least one boss to be a money sponge. To ensure you wouldn't have a game, a actual proper game over. Because I think that's what happens if you run out of money. Or click no. I'm already past where I started this entire level with before damages. Or at least I will be in the next few goes. That was close. I almost lost that one. You also want to go away from where you throw him because if you try to go near where you threw him, he's going to go into that other phase I was telling you about. The one where he's shooting at you with his ass. Crap. Ah, uh, it wasn't quite the last one. I thought it was, though, as I was going in. Then I saw the other one at the last moment. See, not a hard boss fight at all. Especially when it comes to later boss fights in this game. Later boss fights in this game can be really bitchy. And this guy's just easy, like basic game easy, like preschool level game easy. I'll do one more money. Oh crap! 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 He actually ate me! Okay, we're going to another phase. I had a full heart and a half, dang it. That is the first time in a long time I actually died to that boss. Okay, let's go for one more hit, and then I'll finish him. Because we're already back to 1,500. Yeah, that's right, folks. It gives you the equivalent money of your death, or more than equivalent money of your death.
Way more than equivalent amount, yeah. Okay, let's do a spin. Told you the spin on this one's a bit slower because of the web. Got him! And you can go back as many times as you like, folks. Because bosses are repeatable in this game. Look at that. Even after all the time I wasted, I still got the bonus. I even died and I still got the bonus. Okay, on to the final bo I mean, final area for this place. This one's a very fun boss. But you want to enter it with full health, dang it. You don't want to fight this guy at half. Thrillville. Red Brief. No where I'm Wario variants here, dang it. This guy's just a straight up unique enemy. Freaking Minotaur! Ballerina! <laughs> yeah, he's hilarious. You just got the basic idea of what you gotta do, okay, folks? Now, much like the spider, he does give you money, but he's, the hit counts as him actually losing a life, so you can't spam him for money, unfortunately. Though, I could arguably say, you, if there was a way to glitch it, you probably could. Now, there is a way to damage him, I think, I can't remember, yet, it really doesn't do much if you just straight up punch him. You, what you want to do is cha get him to chase you into the fire okay as soon as you see him trying to crash down you you want to get to the center as soon as you see him try to run towards the edge you want to get to the center oh darn it he, he has to land actually in the lava not get burned oh darn it you gotta see him like tippy toe over the edge, like he's about to fall off, then hit it. Damn it, I, I thought I was away far enough. I told you, you need full health to fight this guy. He's not a hard boss, but he can take out your life pretty freaking quickly if you aren't paying attention. Especially since the only safe zone when smashing him down is right here. You're standing anywhere else when you smash down, you're getting hit by that lava. Told you, ballerina, damn. We're almost done, folks. He's a really fun boss. Charge, charge. Ah, oh, damn it, I hit it too soon. Center. He managed to hit himself, nice. That's very rare. Oh, Fragon, that's right. If you actually stand still, he can actually hit you with that. It's all based on the amount of hearts he has is how many times he's going to do it, okay? So that was four for four hearts. Now he's going to do it five times. Oh, he did, he did a fake out. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. And we win!
I love that he just comes back up to pose. He's such an awesome dude. Yeah, I know, he's still being held hostage. Don't care. That's our next key. And final level being unlocked. I, I like to call that one the Las Vegas level. You'll kind of see why when we get in there. What, you thought that would actually hurt us? Show you guys off the new level. We've got magic. We've got Egyptian mythology. And we've got a shipwreck. Yeah, it's very much Las Vegas, folks. Anyway, folks, this is where I'm going to leave you off. Go ahead and uh, stop the game right here, stop the recording, and I'll be back in a minute with more Star Wars.